Okay, General Assembly, of course, is the oldest continuous legislative body in the New World, tracing its roots to the House of Burgesses, which convened in Jamestown in 1619. The General Assembly consists of the 40-member Senate of Virginia and the 100-member House of Delegates, or Lower House. Virginia holds its elections for state offices in odd-numbered years, the year after presidential elections, and uh, state Senate seats are not at stake in this year, 2009. There are three candidates running for uh, this seat in District 69, a seat formerly held by longtime delegate Frank Hall. Uh, Shirley Harvey is running as an independent and is with us this evening. Betsy Carr, a Democrat, and Ernesto Sampson, a Republican, are the other candidates and could not be with us this evening. The 69th district includes the city of Richmond. Uh, Mrs. Harvey, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Good evening. My name is L. Shirley Harvey. Do we know? The LSA sometimes stands for luscious. In case you want to know. But I have been here in this, uh, the city of Richmond in this area since 1978. I'm a mother. I'm a grandmother. I came from IBM in upstate New York, and they taught us how to think. I won some suggestion awards there, some cost effective awards there as well. I have worked for the state of Virginia on two different occasions and two different positions, so I know a bit about that. I know a bit about the law. Um, I'm also a, a caregiver to my sister and her husband, who are in their 70s, so I know a little bit about that. As a mother and a grandmother, trust me, having education, knowing about ed education and going to school to find out what's going on in those schools, I've been there. I understand a lot of what's happening, but as a person, a human being, I'm an independent, just caring about people and what they need. And as I listen to what they're saying, what has been said, I can understand uh, why people in Virginia want something different now. Thank you very much. Your first question, uh, you've served in public office before and know the rigors and costs of campaigns. One of your opponents, Betsy Carr, has reportedly raised $90,000 for her campaign, and Ernesto Sampson has uh, raised nearly $16,000. Your campaign report showed $413. Can you comment on why you have chosen to run against such financial laws? I'm just cost effective. <laughs> <laughs> but the real thing is I'm an accountant. You know, and it's are 
in need of economic stability. And we will not be able to do that unless they have somebody who understands that. So I'm, I'm looking at all of the situations that we have in the uh, General Assembly where we can actually make a difference. One of the things that I want to do is to start with coming up with suggestions for people, allow those people to come up with suggestions for us. We need a think tank of people in this hardened time in our uh, history, in the history of the United States, where we should be looking at ways to make uh, our, our city, our state, actually flower with uh, ability, with all types of abilities. But we aren't doing that. What we're doing is we're spending money on, uh, and they talked about transportation. It's wonderful if we could do that. But <coughs> what we should do is to start thinking about how we can come up with some soul power for people, how we can um, come out with clear water. I, I don't think people understand how much we have uh, just recently found out that water is causing a lot of problems. Our drinking water. We need to protect it from terrorists. All sorts of other things can be done if we will do what we have uh, set out to do and to do it for the people. Coming to the General Assembly every year and spending three months there is not going to be the answer. We need to sit there 12 months out of the year and make a decision to help the people in the state of Virginia. Thank you very much. That was really hard. Thank you. We appreciate it.